Well, hello there, cuz we are fixing a really ugly kitchen drain. Now, what we have here is the two inch ABS pipe you see there comes out from the basement wall. Somewhere up there is a 45 degree turn and it goes down into an old concrete T, which is that abomination lane flat sticking out from the side of the house. And uh, this is what was in the pipe. No wonder the drain was clogged up, okay? So, we got lucky here. The old concrete pipe is in good shape and we are just going to slip a rubber mission coupling, four inch mission coupling over it. And then we'll slip some four inch ABS into that. But we need to fit a four by two Y down there so that the two inch lines up with the two inch from the sink and then goes straight into the pipe over there. So the hub on that is largely okay. And what we are going to do is, uh, there is an emission coupler available for that at Lowe's or Home Depot. And we don't want to spend time chasing it down. So what we're gonna do is, we are going to encapsulate it in uh, fiber reinforced concrete. And that pipe, four inch pipe will slip into the old hub and then we will seal it with the advanced polymer non-sag sealant for expansion joints and other uses and uh, polyurethane it will last forever good stuff so we need to uh, fit the y to the two inch coming down so that the y is level with this pipe here and has a quarter inch per foot slope going down to that and then we will fit the four inch pipe into the hub and then we will uh, fill the void of the hub around the pipe uh, actually we will put a bunch of the stuff in the hub then we'll shove the four inch pipe in and then we will uh, squirt more adhesive around the uh, outside gap and that should seal it up really well and then we will encase it in fiber reinforced concrete okay so we're going to pour cement in first because there's a lot of water there and so we'll just mix it into the standing water and that'll take care of that and uh this water over here we don't need to worry about uh so okay um we're gonna get to it and uh i'll show you uh i'm not gonna spend a lot of time showing how to measure and do things i've got plenty of videos that already show how to measure and fit pipe so we'll just show you the finished product because uh we're trying to beat the clock for a teriyaki lunch very important all right so hang on for the end of this video coming up watch the exciting conclusion okay so there you go we have finished Replacing the pipe in here this pipe above that is for a downspout goes out to a French drain But our pipe down there. We have the four inch ABS Matching up to the four inch concrete and then we have a rubber mission coupler Connecting the two and then down here we have two inch pipe coming from the kitchen and we've got a stainless steel band clamp uh, Connecting those two and then over here, we have a concrete hub pipe in good shape. And so what we did is we inserted the ABS into the hub with a bunch of uh, concrete polyurethane uh, sealant that is waterproof and forever flexible. And then we packed it with fiber reinforced concrete. And so you can see the uh, ABS goes into the hub of the concrete pipe down there. And then we just packed it in there. Sean did most of the work. I, uh, I'm old, so I supervise. And so now we're just gonna wait for, uh, Sean's gonna get a shop vac and vacuum out the excess water down there. And uh, everything should be good to go. 
they're back in business. But you see, there is where the old pipe went into the 4-inch ABS or 4-inch concrete Y, and you see that that Y there was broken, and then you see how much crud was built up in all of these pipes, so they were rather disgusting. Anyway, uh, mission accomplished. They are back in business. And I have earned myself a teriyaki chicken. No, I got Kung Pao chicken. That's what it is. Okay, stay tuned for the next exciting video. Don't forget to subscribe.